The Indian Scout Bobber has cleverly mixed old-school cruiser styling and modern-day performance, with refinement and a healthy splash of the American dream. Short travel suspension is crashy over bumps, ground clearance limited and the riding position might not be great for everyone's back, but the new Scout Bobber has a jewel-like motor, feel-good handling and impeccable build quality. 2020 marks a full century since Indian built their first Scout, now owned by Polaris the current firm might have little to do with the original factory other than the name but they're still throwing a 100th birthday party, hence the new Indian Scout Bobber 20. It's not a replica of that first Scout from 1920, that wasn't a bobber and didn't have an armpit cooling handlebar position which is why Indian have also introduced a new Scout 100th anniversary edition that apes the colors and look of the original. Instead the 20 is the regular Scout bobber with details influenced by the 1920 bike. This means the deep, low-slung seat is replaced with a bobber leather pan, replicating the sprung perch on the first Scout and seemingly floating off the frame. Cast wheels are replaced with period spokes, and the riding position is altered with a mini ape handlebar. You only have to look at the pictures to see the Scout Bobber isn't exactly tall, so it's easy to get your feet down when you're stopped which will be music to the ears of newer riders and those short in the turn-up. It might weigh a touring bike like 255 kilograms, full of fuel but it carries its weight well even when you're creeping along in slow traffic. There's plenty of legroom for a 6-foot rider like me and the new brown stitched leather seat is comfy enough for a Sunday morning coffee run. But while the new bar position makes sense when you're riding hard, it forces you into a hunched, round-shouldered, back-aching stoop when you're not which takes its toll after a few hours. Spine relief comes at higher speed when wind blast on your chest props you up and takes the pressure off your back. The Bobber Scout has the minerals to deal with the corners when they come rushing up. It stops handles and grips with barely believable poise and light turning precision. Modest ground clearance is the only barrier to how hard you can push the Indian's taut well-balanced chassis. A single disc, twin piston front brake setup has a surprising amount of power for a bike like this and the knobbly fashion rubber doesn't lack grip or blunt the steering, even with a front tire wider than the rear of my old RD350LC. Ride quality is on the firm side of plush so you feel the bumps on anything but pancake flat roads and with just 50 mm of rear suspension travel the Scout Bobber crashes over big bumps, giving your back another kicking, but for gentle cruising and pottering around town the Indian floats along. Based on the American firm's hugely popular liquid-cooled, 1133 cc, 94 bhp v twin scout cruiser the motor remains unchanged in the bobber blessed with bountiful torque and a syrupy smooth spread of power it emits few vibes and has the kind of buttery pickup from a closed throttle that most euro 4 machines would die for it's a sign of the times that the exhausts wouldn't wake a light sleeper let alone the dead but the motor has enough of a rumble to give the scout bobber oodles of yankee charm clutch Gearbox and throttle are light accurate and a joy to use and the motor keeps pulling long after you think it's going to run out of puff. Set the LCD digital display to show revs and you'll discover that on the way to hitting the engine's peak power at 8000 revolutions per minute, the airbox induction raw deepens and it briefly morphs into a ground-hugging missile. Indian have reduced rear suspension travel by 26 mm and for a more aggressive riding position they've moved the foot pegs 38 mm closer to the rider and fitted street track style bars to place your beard more over the front end. There's a new Indian tank badge and the frame, exhaust, headlight surround, handlebars, mirrors and even the face of the analog or digital mix clock are all finished in a sultry satin black. Mudguards are chopped down and the rear is slimmer showing off it's chunky. As you would imagine there's a huge array of Scout accessories to choose from, plus bobber-specific items like a 16-inch ape handlebar kit, 
wire wheels, a 1920s style solo seat, tank pouch, pillion seat, saddle bags, rack and rack bag. Dangling bar end mirrors look the part but are next to useless. Stick to the standard items if you want to see where you've just been. The 2019 version will have new paint options and a USB port added to the dash.